On page 1053 of the Merriam-Webster's Dictionary, the word Renaissance is defined as a movement or period of vigorous artistic and intellectual activity. And it is also defined as a rebirth or revival. And this is exactly what Unleash was designed to achieve. A while back, a couple of my friends, four of them actually and myself, came together and decided that we needed to revive the appreciation of arts, the appreciation of creativity, and the appreciation of people's original work. And we decided to do this after we noticed that we unfortunately live in a society and in a world that is too focused on materialistic measures. People worry a lot about money. They worry a lot about making more money, spending more money, and saving more money. A person would try their best to get the job that guarantees them the best salary, or go into business ventures that guarantees the maximum profit possible. And don't get me wrong, I mean, money is an amazing thing, of course. It's always good to have a bit of money on the side, but it shouldn't be people's priority. It shouldn't be your only worry. And money is something that comes and goes. It doesn't last forever. And if anything, I might be the only person here, but I'd like to thank the economic crisis for proving us right. <laughs> money is, in fact, something that comes and goes, and it's people's talents, hopes, ambitions is what lasts. So we decided that it's time to make a change, and it's about time to try and make a difference. And that's how Unleash was born. And if you're wondering how does it work, the concept is really very simple. We have designed and printed a thousand empty journals. Each journal consists of 10 empty pages with three or four pages of instructions telling you how to use the journal and what to do with it. Now, what happens is that when you receive this journal, you select an empty page and you express yourself in any form of creativity you want, whether you choose to write something in or draw something or stick a photo, it's up to you. Every single person is talented in his own or her own way. So the, uh, the options are really um, endless. You could go crazy on a page. Once you're done, you pass on the journal to another person. It could be a friend, a family member, a colleague at work, even someone down the street, really. So think of it as unleash it forward, just like pay it forward. Now, once the 10 empty pages are filled out, the last person to contribute has to contact us in order to return the journal back to us. And once we receive all of the journals back, or we hope most of them at least, um, we're going to select the best entries and the most creative ones, outstanding entries, and publish them all in one book. Now, this book will serve two purposes. Purpose number one is that it will act as an outlet or a showcase of people's talents in the UAE. And purpose number two is that it will be a nice way to document the UAE's history, document the UAE's history through the period of 2009 and 2010 in a new and creative way. Now, we started receiving some journals back and some entries back through our Facebook group, and I'd like to share with you some of the results that we have found out so far. These are just observations that I'd like to share. Observation number one, we noticed that people's entries are usually reflective of the entries before them. For example, if I got the journal and I put in something about Dubai or the UAE, most probably, if the next person receives it, will also put something about Dubai, the UAE. Maybe they will go a bit creative and put in something about Sheikh Mohammed or one of their rulers, but it will stay within the borders of Dubai and the UAE. Now, whether you call this imitation, whether you call it um, influence or inspiration, I'm not in a position to judge people here. The last thing I would want to do is to be judgmental. But this is just a mere observation that we got. The second observation is that when we started the project, we were really, really disappointed. I mean, some of the entries were really bad. It was clear that people did not spend five minutes on the entry. 
So we thought, you know what, Dubai and the UAE, it's a hopeless case. People are not talented. They don't have what it takes to create a renaissance or to revive the appreciation of arts. But then, thank God, thankfully, <laughs> as time passed, the journals started to get better and the entries started to get better and we started to get the good. And then after a while, we started to be amazed by people's work. The work was amazing. The journalists started going to schools and universities. They started going to art galleries. People wanted to take part, and word of mouth is the best marketing tool. Friends were telling friends, and everyone wanted to take part in the project. And what we ended up with was really the bad, the good, and the awesome. Another observation that we had was that we noticed that there were some popular themes starting to pop up, reoccurring themes. And these themes being philosophy, emotions such as love, despair, hatred. We also noticed that religion was one, national identity, self-reflection, politics, or as um, probably uh, Jamil would uh, call it, politics, really. But uh, we decided that maybe in order to revive this appreciation of, appreciation of arts, we came up with um, a prescription. And this prescription is maybe a dose of love, an injection of philosophy, um, a couple of pills of food, fashion, and religion, and a spoonful of politics. But be careful with politics. We are already in a, me in a mess um, with politics in the world today. But this is maybe one of the things. And one of the most amazing observations is that we managed to get people closer together. We, had, we have people coming up to us and asking us, so Khulud, um, what is the age group or which group of people are the ones who really are most interested in Unleash? And I don't have an answer to that. It's everyone. We got people from China, from Ethiopia, from India, from the Philippines, Australia, America, the UK, the UAE, all contributing in this one journal. Regardless of the prejudice, the stereotypes and the ugly borders that exist in the world today. Everyone taking part in the project. So what I'd like to conclude by saying is that people have what it takes. We are talented. And unfortunately, the reality is that we live in a world where, let's say, if a child starts scribbling on a wall, he or she would be punished for doing that. Why not have something like what uh, Mr. Paul was showing us, the wall that people would paint on? Every household has a wall where the kids would go there, paint on it with their parents, a family canvas, an open canvas. And once it's filled out, paint it with white and start all over again. People have what it takes, but most of the time, they are redirected towards the right path or the safer path. What we hope to achieve is to recreate a 21st century renaissance, one that would bring the UAE forward and the world forward, not through materialistic measures, but through the extraordinary creations of its people. We're shooting for the stars here, hoping to land on the moon, maybe. And who knows, what if it all starts with a journal? Thank you. Before I leave the stage, I'd like to ask three of my friends who are the co-founders of Unleash to stand up, please. They're somewhere in the audience, and I'd like you to send them an applause, please. Thank you. Well done. Thank you.